In today's video, I've got something really interesting to show you. I've come up with the ultimate electrical engineer's toolkit. And this one happens to be the analog designer's edition. Let's take a look at what's inside. Up first is our tub of margin. No, not tub of margarine, but a tub of margin. Now just add a scoop of this to your latest design whenever you need a little more gain margin or phase margin or even some design or specification margin. Now this next item is a little specific to people who might be designing common emitter or common source amplifier designs and are plagued with the Miller effect. The magnification of the collector to base capacitance. A little shot of this spray will help get rid of that nasty effect. Increase your bandwidth and do so without the increased cost of using a cascode circuit. Now this next item is something we all can use every once in a while. A little anti-noise foam. Quiet down your next design with this special blend of flicker antigens, shot dampeners, and a light foamy anti-Johnson base. This will do wonders for your noise figure. Now this next item is especially useful when you're prototyping circuits or even after you've built them. This is the parasitic pesticide. Scare away those annoying puffs of capacitance, nanohenries of inductance, and any stray leakage paths, etc. After all, you didn't design your circuit with those in mind, so why should you have to deal with them? This next item is a favorite amongst most designers. It is the ideal cream. Make that component ideal. You want an ideal diode? Rub a little bit of this on your 1N914. Works on about any type of component, but use it very sparingly. You still have to interface with the real world. Next is another favorite amongst most designers. The box of assorted DBs. What design couldn't use a couple of extra dBs of supply rejection? Grab a handful whenever you need some more common mode rejection ratio, some more gain or dynamic range. And with the negative dBs, now you can get some better gain flatness, ideal filter responses, and really good harmonic rejection. Now no design kit is complete without a complete GAD system. Not CAD system, but GAD system. This is the graphite aided design system. The system, known as the old number two, is a slender yellow instrument. The insert add mode is accomplished with the resharpenable end over here. And the delete mode is handled by the flexible orange end of the tool. Completely portable, very lightweight, and uses no batteries. Next up is the table of universal fudge factors. Can't seem to make your numbers match or your equations mesh? Fuss no more. Our universal fudge factors will make any data correlate and any relationship believable. Now one of my personal favorites is the tolerance trimming tools. Use these special tools to trim out the tolerance of any component in your design. Don't pay for expensive 0.1% components ever again. Another favorite in the corporate world is our powerful deadline solvent. Don't let unrealistic project schedules stress you out. A drop or two of this powerful solvent will relieve you of late deliveries, fab shutdowns, vendor delays, and unexpected design problems. And last but not least, necessity in every lab, is a can of management repellent. You find it hard to concentrate with your boss breathing down your neck? This formula is guaranteed to keep away the brass so you can get some real work done. This is the lab fogger, but it's also available in hanging pest strips. There you have it, the ultimate electrical engineer's toolkit analog designers edition. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks again as always for watching.